Preserved in these cold waters is the site where the finest components of the V-1 and V-2 rockets were assembled. Gyros and guidance systems that kept them on target. Electronic circuitry and switches which calibrated the fuel flow to their engines. Imagine that the ceiling beams had supported a floor that held parts. And as we progressed along this tunnel, the rockets too progressed along the tunnel. And at each stage, the parts were assembled so that at the end of the line, you would have a completed rocket. And so as you moved over and under the beams, you entered into new storage areas for the parts. We'd see components uh, as big as the main body fuselage or perhaps a nose cone. And yet other areas would contain engine parts. And although it wasn't clear what each component was, you could see the differences as you moved along the assembly line. And you also saw things like the original signs that were there to uh, either to designate different component areas or just simply warning signs. 